<laughs> uh, welcome. Uh, good to see you all again. Uh, we're uh, very excited about uh, this time of the year. Very excited about this group. Uh, we've had a very, very productive uh, summer and fall. Uh, but before I kind of talk a little bit more, I'll have uh, everybody introduce themselves. Uh, we'll start here with our assistant coaches, and they will tell you where, what year they are, their name, and where they're from. By, by way of California, okay. Um, this is uh, obviously an exciting time of the year for any basketball coach because we get a chance to be on the floor and um, have practice without limited times instead of that uh, 50 minutes or an hour that you've gotten shrunk into since the end of last season. Now we get, you know, our normal two and a half hours with our guys, so it's uh, it's been an exciting time for me in terms of our fall uh, with a group of guys that have worked very hard. We have a very challenging schedule. Um, it's a special time for us to start off our year this year hosting the Coaches for Cancer event uh, with uh, where we open up with uh, Akron uh, on the 12th, I think it is, of November. It's a doubleheader with Cleveland State and Kent. We play the second game against uh, Akron. And, uh, uh, a, uh, a tournament or a kind of a, a doubleheader game that we'll be talking a lot about in the weeks to come because we're very proud to be able to host it and we're honoring uh, two former YSU people um, in Dan Peters and Bill Daly. So uh, we're very, very excited about that opportunity. Um, our first semester schedule is very challenging for us and then obviously our league schedule is a, is a uh, it is what it is, but we're excited to be able not to start uh, five out of seven on the road or eight out of nine uh, like we have in the last couple of years where we get a couple of home games. And then obviously the accumulation of our year uh, is in Detroit. Last year was a, it was a very, very positive um, experience, the Motor City Madness. Uh, I thought it was very revealing as I came from league meetings this week that out of the 22 conferences that are not considered the FBS conferences, which obviously is mid-majors, um, the Motor City Madness uh, ranked seven out of 22 uh, in the country, ahead of the MAC and a lot of other conferences in terms of attendance for that, uh, for that event. So that is something that we're really excited about, uh, obviously, at that time of the year. So at this time, I'll take any questions. And then we'll go from there where we have some breakdown time that uh, you guys can get whoever you'd like. Coach, how might this team be different in appearance or style? Jim, we're just, you know, we're, we're just much, much different. And I, and I believe that we're much, much better. Now, I, I sat here last year with a lot of the same guys really not knowing, you know, really what we had. Um, we had, we had, other than, you know, obviously Bobby Hain, who was injured, uh, we did not have one guy, re, you know, start coming back that, from that team. This year we have everybody back. Um, and, and the improvement, the experience, the work commitment, the uh, effort, um, this group has been on task from the first time that they got here this summer. Uh, they wore out our shooting machines. Um, they were in the gym all the time. Um, it's been, I used the term earlier, productive. It's been the most productive summer and fall 
that I've had since I've been here. Uh, this group is dialed in. Uh, it's been uh, a pleasure to, to watch them ha be self-motivated rather than outside motivation all the time. Uh, this is a group that uh, uh, is a totally different group, I believe, than where we were a year ago. Both physically changes in the locker room, but, but more uh, experience and, and commitment-wise. Yeah, well, you know, you can ask them. We haven't done any whole lot of offense all f summer. We really spent a lot of time at the on the defensive end of the floor. Um, obviously, it's something that we need to do better. That was all on me last year, like you know, you've asked, you know, many times. Uh, we didn't do a good job. I didn't do a good job either philosophically or coaching it, and uh, we're back to uh, being m more like us in the past where I thought that we were very competitive defensively. Is this the most veteran team over the Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's been a while since I've been able to stand up here, you know, you know, Dana knowing, you know, kind of knowing what we have. Um, I mean, I, I think our I, I think we're really good in the backcourt. I think we're you know, I think our fours are good. I think our depth is good. Our, our depth is much, much better than uh, we've had before. Uh, since I've been here, all the way, one we can, we can play ten guys any night, and have it help us. Um, our fives are better; uh, they've gotten stronger, better. So, like, um, you know, I, I'm I, I'm really encouraged with with where we are. You know, again, as you said, relevant to experience. You know, we were here last year, and you know, we did obviously. You know Bobby, but other than that, we didn't log one one guy that had started a college game in terms of here. So um, it's a different group, and 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 you see it the way they carry themselves. They you can see it the way their expectations are. You can see the way they know the league and how you know they're feeling about their year. Thank you for thank thank you for both of you guys for bringing that uh, bringing that up today. Uh, appreciate that right out of the jump. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, you know we've obviously looked at ourselves, evaluated ourselves, found out where, you know, obviously saw where we are, where our strengths, what our weaknesses are, and have spent a ton of time uh, developing, working on things that we obviously needed to do better to be competitive. So yes, that's defense and rebounding has been. Um, an emphasis. Coach, with so many new coaches, with the veterans you have, I mean, I know you're not just predicting business, so I'm not asking that, but do you feel pretty good? Uh, Dana, like I said to you, you know, earlier, and I, and I, you know, I, I'm not trying to dodge it. You know, we started off last year with, a, you know, a relatively new staff, um, a staff that we hired late because of, you know, guys getting out of the business and going on to different aspects in their family lives. We had a lot of new players, um, and then we didn't have like Bobby for the, all the preseason because of his hand injury, and then we didn't have him at all the league play because of his foot injury. It, you know, it was a it was a year of learning, um, and I believe that this group has learned. You know, there's you know that's a uh, to learn and or to have experiences happen and not learn from them. That's a you know that's a negative when you learn and turn them to a positive. Uh, that's when the process started, and I think that we've done that. So yes, I, I am uh, really excited about this group. How different is the, the conference this year? Like, there's at least three schools that have brand new head coaches. And yeah, I mean it's uh, it, it, it it's interesting in the fact that you really don't know what you're getting. You know, I mean you don't know it's different. You know, different styles of play. You don't know the, the new coaches in terms of, you know, what their emphasis are. I know the guy, you know, one of the coaches in the league that, you know, was a big defensive guy and they hired, a, you know, an all offensive guy, for example, and, and that. So, um, uh, it, you know, I think it's a year of uh, transition in the league. Uh, I think every team that's in the top of the tier of the league last year lost a lot. I think Valpo lost a lot. Milwaukee lost a lot. Oakland lost a lot. Um, it's an exciting time for the Penguins. Does a team like Oakland, have they appreciated the way people view the league? Is it more offensive than defensive, what you used to be? 
No, uh, I mean, you know, John, I think, you know, I think obviously, I don't know how you, you would put this politically correct wise. Valpo was, you know, obviously, you know, one of the top mid majors in the country. Oakland's gone out, you know, a bunch of years now early. Um, so I'm not sure that their quote unquote philosophy has really changed, you know, the emphasis of the league. I mean, you know, they went out in the first round. So um, I think that they're, I think some of the new coaches along with Oakland, you know, could possibly reshape it to being a little bit more of a non Big Ten, you know, clutch and hold defensive league. But that's, you know, but that's yet to be, you know, that's yet to be seen. That'll be, it'll be an interesting, it's an interesting dichotomy as the, as the year goes by to be able to see what the new coaches and new philosophies and obviously new talent that they have because a lot of these guys like Milwaukee and that they lost, you know, their top seven guys. So it'll be interesting to see.